Biotechnica welcome back again to another video suppose if you are thinking you would like to get an internship in a biotech company so I'll be talking about the Asia's largest biopharma company which is Biocon how you can get a life science internship at Biocon suppose you might be in your masters or you might have completed so what are the uh, opportunity or what are the ways that you can enter into Biocon as an intern and I'll be talking about also the benefits of getting an internship opportunity at Biocon located at Bangalore so come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica so now let's talk about how to get a life science internship opportunity at Biocon Bangalore so this is the website suppose if you want to go in for website and look on to what are the internship opportunity if you type in for Biocon Bangalore you'll go to a page where you can see something like this where you'll be seeing internship opportunity and you'll be getting to know what are the fields that they are providing this internship opportunity and there are almost every year annually they're going to uh, provide this internship opportunity almost 200 freshers are benefited gradually and you can see they give first hands experience hands-on experience how a bio pharma company actually works and you can actually develop a transferable skill as well as earn some course credits also this is an amazing thing which Biocon is doing and the next important question comes for us is why do you have to choose Biocon why intern at Biocon so I'm going to tell you so why intern with Biocon if you are looking for a very wonderful opportunity in order to enter into a biopharma or biotechnological company they are providing lot of opportunity uh, previously 200 plus candidate now 600 to 700 candidates they're going to give you very specifically in core areas I'll be talking about it and after completion also they are going to take you as a employee at Biocon also which is a wonderful opportunity for Indian students who are wanting to do any sort of job at a biopharma company so that is all about why you have to get intern at Biocon so the next important thing for us is annual internship opportunity as I already told you Biocon is actually providing annual internship every year they are conducting this internship opportunity now the question comes for us is what are the core areas internship are provided since we are dealing with um, life science so R&D they are providing internship opportunity QA quality assurance they are providing internship opportunity regulatory sciences yes they are also providing this internship opportunity these are the core areas for the life science candidate they are providing internship opportunity but there are many many other areas which they provide internship for non life science candidates also so the next important thing is what are the categories so there are different categories where they provide internship opportunity the first is work intern I'll be talking about what is this work intern study interns recruitments by biocons for interns and biocon academy so first let me talk about what is this work interns going to be suppose if you have completed your masters in any of the life sciences then you will be falling under this category so work intern opportunities are available whoever wants to learn a specific job in R&D or regulatory affairs or in quality assurance then you can go and um, join them as a work intern and it is also observed that most of the candidate who join there as a work intern are observed at Biocon itself like almost you can see many of the uh, candidates who join as a work intern at Biocon has been taken as an employee by the Biocon itself based on the performance and usually as a work intern you will have a maximum tenor duration of eight months so it can vary from six to to eight months also this is about the work intern opportunity at biocon the next one is study interns this is for students who are in colleges suppose if you are in the final year or in the first year suppose you could like to take up an internship at biocon then you are also definitely uh, can join biocon college students who do internship as a part of the college curriculum some of the college will ask you uh, to join some of the internship program in a hospital or some biopharma companies or biotech companies or in a research laboratory then those kind of candidates can join according to the college curriculum you can take up whether three months or six months or eight months so the maximum is going to be eight months only they're going to provide you this is for students who are studying in the college or currently studying 
they can apply for this study interns also the next one is recruitment by biocon for interns yes so biocon usually go for recruitment to different campuses like uh, online campuses like nowadays they started going for off campus recruitments so they started recruiting even interns uh, to different colleges so they go to these different colleges and they used to take candidates they used to recruit candidates as an interns only not for the job profiles very specifically even for the interns they started recruiting from all this uh, colleges they now started taking uh, interns from different colleges also these are the maximum colleges that they will go and take an intern also the next important thing i'm telling you is suppose you missed an opportunity of a work intern or study intern or if you're not been recruited by biocon through your colleges what else you can do you can join biocon academy so you have to pay a, a specific amount of money and this is going to be you get a scholarship also almost 60 to 80 percentage of the scholarship for deserving candidates they're providing this is about how you convert a theoretical aspect into a practical scenario in biotech companies or biopharma company that is going to be this biocon academy is doing and they're providing certification and all these things you can see kgi certificate program in biosciences so you can specially go to different website if you see this one biocon academy website you'll be seeing all this uh, courses which is listed in program section so you can go to different uh, category and whichever you want to take up this certificate program you can take up and there is a rigorous process will be taking uh, going on if you wanted to get a scholarship also so this is bits bits biocon certificate program in applied industrial microbiology if you want to go in for applied industrial microbiology career then you can go for this clinical development if anybody wanted to go for clinical development you can go for this this is ramaya certificate program in qc very specially uh, quality control analytical then you can go for it this is global regulatory affairs as i already mentioned r and d uh, quality assurance uh, as well as global regulatory affairs if you miss any of these opportunity then you can also join some certification program and then you will be trained by the biocon professionals and then you will be observed as an employee also there are probability but it's not guarantee if you really work well then there are probability of getting absorbed into bio con also so these are the collaborators you can see bits pilani is actually a collaborator who is conducting this one and uh, kick graduate institute in the us uh, kgi so that's what i told you kgi certificate program kgi certificate program in biosciences which is even us professionals are going to train you that's an amazing thing and the last one is ms ramaya college of arts science and commerce is also involved that's why you're seeing a, a course on quality control analytical also so this is another way of getting an internship opportunity and becoming an employee at biocon also so these are the criteria that you can work as a intern at biocon bangalore so this is about the categories now let's talk about the intern profile what are the profiles that usually comes there are many profiles which you can see it uh, in biocon uh, websites also so i'm going to list out very important one medical diabetic counseling intern this position is usually you can see recently now only it was announced you can see it is for six months and you don't have to have any sort of experience and they're going to give you a stipend of ten thousand and these are the location that you can go and become an intern of medical diabetic counseling intern at biocon only you can become the next one is r d intern r d intern is also there suppose if you're belonging to any of these qualification then you can go in for duration is six months only you don't need to have any experience and the stipend is usually going to be 10 months and the duration is six months and this is for location in bangalore and they most predominantly ask for some molecular biology techniques if you're knowing it then it's an added advantage for you so this is some of the intern profile there are regulatory affairs intern there is going to be a qa intern qc interns R&D interns, medical diabetic counseling interns, many things, intern profiles are actually available at Biocon. The next one, what are the ways to apply? Now, the we know that what are the uh, programs that they offer and how do they hire. Now, the question for us is how we can apply to them and get this internship opportunity. The first criteria is you can mail. Suppose if you have completed your graduation or even if you are a student who is in a college, you can mail through this one careers at biocon.com or there is also internship email which is available or contact as biocon.com you can go to them and email your cv along with your interest
interest to pursue your internship opportunity at biocon you can actually mail to them and if everything is perfect enough then they can call you for the interview also the second important thing is you can apply online during notification as i already shown here these are some of the notification which has come so biocon usually publishes some internship opportunity coming on the line so you directly have to go and apply to them so apply online whenever a notification comes that means you have to be staying updated to the biocon website the next important thing is get certification through biocon academy you can also become an intern after getting a certification and then you can become an employee of biocon also so these are the ways that you can become an intern at biocon so now let's talk about another criteria which what are the qualities that they see in order to take an intern or what are the shortlisting criteria that they have so this is most important because when you start mailing you have your cv but you need to highlight on the point which they really wanted so i'm going to talk about those things the first is good academic performance if you're going to have a very good academic performance then there are probability that they can take you and sound technical knowledge that's what they mentioned if you have a molecular biology techniques if you know like rt pcr or a pcr or anything like that then it's very easy for them to hire you as an intern or ability to be a cultural fit into the company this is another criteria the first two are the core criteria the next is good interpersonal skill and sometimes suppose if you're emailing them and then they are calling you for the interview and if there are many people they used to go in for group discussion gd round followed by the interviews so this is usually for students who are hired from colleges they used to go to colleges and they hire students that time they will be having this gd or students a graduate who send their resume to the website or any other sources then they used to have this gd round then only this uh, process will exactly take place at biocon so these are some of the things that they look for the interns very specifically who are applying at biocon the next one what is the benefit that you're going to get from biocon if you're going to do as an intern so first is real time exposure honestly this is going to be a wonderful opportunity because you go and deal with the company very specially how a theoretical knowledge is implicated in the real lifetime so real lifetime exposure is there and of course the work culture so you'll get to know about the culture and this is an amazing thing opportunity to become an employee yes suppose if you observe after completing msc and applying for biocon and getting a job is kind of difficult when you compare it with students who enter as an intern and then get being absorbed into an employee uh, by the biocon it's very easy so they can say that almost 8 percentage of the hires are intern converts only they have converted most of the internship students into their employee almost 8 percentage we can say so it is one of the important benefits of somebody if they wanted to go in for biocon so this is about how you can get a life science internship at biocon so we talked about the core areas very specially and we were talking about how you can enter through this this is the core areas that you can go in for and then we were talking about what are the categories of entering and what are the ways that you can enter so what are the ways you can actually enter what are the benefits uh, you can go and what is the shortlisting procedure and what are the complete things we have seen for today so i believe that this video is helpful for all of you so if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica thank you all of you for joining and i'm going to meet you back again with another wonderful video thank you all of you